I was diagnosed in August 2011. Um, I initially sort of had no reaction to it when the nurses told me at the clinic. Um, it's like someone had told me that, you know, I hadn't won the raffle at work or something. Um, but it wasn't until I went home late that evening and my friend Paul came around that sort of hit me. We went through all the leaflets I'd been given in the clinic and I burst into tears and I cried for about two days. Um, but after that I sort of picked myself up um, and decided I should make something out of my misfortune and I started working on HIV awareness. I knew absolutely nothing about HIV before I was diagnosed, shamefully. I left school in 2004 and all the sex education I had really was that um, sex is for procreation, to use a condom not to have a baby and that um, giving birth was messy. Until I had my first sexual health screening after a boyfriend cheated on me at the age of 24, um, I'd never even heard of HIV. I started blogging and uh, tweeting um, very soon after my diagnosis and that's when Saving Lives followed me on Twitter. I got speaking to the people behind it and decided it was something I really wanted to be involved with, helping raise awareness of HIV testing um, and prevention across the UK. There's still a lot of stigma um, of surrounding HIV, even in the pre uh, prevention area. Um, some fundraising events celebrities don't want to be involved with. I initially started blogging completely anonymously under the pseudonym Sam, um, but February of this year, 2013, I decided I was going to come out. I put my picture and my name to it, and I've not looked back since, really. I mean, at the moment, I'm getting 10,000 hits a day to my site, 50 emails of people looking for support. It takes a lot of time out of my day to reply to all of them, but it's worth it, because I, I, I get cards, I get emails back saying that I've helped people, and I've helped steer their lives around. I think that's something that saving lives is probably helping do as well. The important thing is for people to get tested regularly. Um, as soon as you get tested, you know your status and you're looking after yourself and respecting the people that you have sex with. Um, and as soon as you're diagnosed, the better your prognosis for the future.